Hello and welcome. Today we are going to explore the world of catalytic converters. These parts have been around for a while, first patented in the 1950s by French engineer Eugene Howdry. Once a hated piece of emissions equipment, this is now a very sought after part. Back in the day, the first thing anyone did was to punch out the leaded gas restrictor and then cut off the converter. Those were the old style pellet converters and they mostly threw them away. Little did they all know that they would become a highly stolen item. Today, we all realize the importance of these critical components of the emissions and exhaust systems. While our emissions systems have progressed greatly over the years, the converter is still needed to finish off all those nasty things an ICE-equipped vehicle produces. Hydrocarbons, NOx, and other compounds are still emitted from today's engines. The converter is there to help reduce these compounds. There are two basic types of converters used today. The first one is called a reduction type. This style breaks up nitrogen oxides into nitrogen and oxygen, which are harmless and normally found in our air. Next is the oxidation catalyst. These work in the opposite process from the reduction style. They introduce oxygen, thus changing CO into CO2, which is already in our air. Early on, vehicles only had two-way converters. These were oxidation converters and just dealt with hydrocarbons. Post-1981 vehicles now use a three-way converter because a reduction converter has been added to the oxidation converters. This rids the exhaust of hydrocarbons and the NOx elements. Converters run hot, very hot. <laughs> this chemical process is created by three elements, platinum, palladium, and rhodium. These elements are where the expense comes into play. Since these elements are expensive to mine and produce, the converters tend to be extremely expensive, hence giving them their high theft value. Some common complaints for a failing converter might be poor performance, reduced fuel economy, an illuminated check engine light, rotten exhaust odor, and others. Given the high expense associated with this repair, proper diagnosis is critical. I hope this answers some of your questions on catalytic converters, and we will see you again next time.